Hello everybody, this is me, Sword, and you guys are back with another episode of Pretty Sword. Hi. So a couple months ago when I was back in Korea with my member Sunyeon, I made her rate all of her stage outfits when she was with CLC. So I thought today I'll be doing the same thing. Uh, I've actually picked 10 different outfits and today I'll be rating all of it from 1 to 10. 10 being the best outfit I've ever freaking worn in my life and 1 being the worst. The first outfit of today will be this outfit. I personally like this outfit and that was the era where CLC was wearing a lot of gunbok. Gunbok is kind of like a military-like clothes where you wear jackets and you have like suits on, you have like the pads on the shoulders and then a lot of dangling golden things that make you look hell powerful because that was the concept of a song. And to be honest, I really really like this outfit because I feel like it gives off a very like boss vibe. I remember wearing this with long boots that comes up all the way to your knee and I felt really comfortable first of all because when we were dancing it was the era where we were always in heels so this was a time when we had a break from heels and we were able to wear like shoes with no heels so it's really easy for us to dance. I would say this would be a, a 7 for me I think Next is one of the most iconic clothes and outfit I've ever worn. This was when our iconic song Hobgoblin came out. And I remember that during this time, especially for the makeup, not a lot of artists, not a lot of idols were very experimental with this type of makeup. During this time, if you guys were already following CLC, you can see that on each stage, I was wearing like purple lipstick, black lipstick, dark blue lipstick and I also do know that a lot of fans who are fans of myself now did come from this specific Hobgoblin era because of my really bold makeup. At first I was really scared because it's something so bold that I've never seen anyone else do it so I wasn't really sure if it's it was gonna work. In Idol's comeback, there's always like that one bitch. That one bitch that has to like do very dramatic shit and I think I was that bitch during this era where like people were just like okay um, we need one that really pushes the concept so they were trying to push the concept really hard on me with my lipstick. I think people were kind of confused and they've never seen this type of character before. There weren't really a lot of idols during this time who was walking around with purple lipstick so I could totally see how it can really throw people up a little bit. So I would rate this outfit personally with all the experience and the impact that it left on our fans. And for myself, I would give this outfit, to be really real honest with you, a 10. I mean, look-wise, it's not the best outfit ever, but it was a really important comeback for us. Next outfit is an outfit that I was wearing for a comeback called no, which was the song that got CLC first win even though it took a little bit longer but we still accomplished it. For this comeback, we also had a say in the outfits. We had clothing from Versace. We all had like a similar look all together as a group. Someone was wearing a dress, someone was wearing like a blouse like me, some were wearing, wearing like pants and um, some were wearing skirts but we all had the same Versace pattern which I thought was really dope. I really liked what everyone was wearing and as a whole we looked great but individually for my specific outfit I think because I had a blouse on and then like my stylist kept telling me to to button up my shirt up here which I don't know why I was doing that because you know like if you button up everything it makes your face look bigger and makes you neck a little bit shorter so it looked like I had no neck for a little bit but like they kept telling me not to unbutton it so like that was something that was really bothering me looking at this outfit it now what I would do to this outfit if I had no other options to change it I would really unbutton every single thing and then I would wear just like a bralette inside and then just let my blouse just hang but I mean back then I was really young so like you know I, I wasn't able to do that I would still rate this outfit a six okay the next outfit I'll be rating is one of the most memorable outfit for me personally, because I remember when the song Black Dress came out 
and I was wearing this on my first stage at M Countdown. I got a lot of good reactions and responses from fans from all around the world. And I love the concept of how, even though the song name is Black Dress, it doesn't mean that we always have to wear a black dress like what society tells you. And I'm also like rating this from my own personal experience from the comeback because this was really, really fun and comeback for all of us. With the song and the experience and the outfit and everything, this comeback was a nine for me. Next outfit is an outfit that I wore during my debut for Pepe. I mean, don't get me wrong, I thought Pepe was a really strong debut for a girl group. I remember every member is wearing something different but we all had uh, the CLC logo on every clothes we wear. Like I had this top uh, with like our original cat logo CLC on and then I remember some other members were having like jackets with the letter C on. I thought it was really cute actually. I also love this like bandana. We later on realized that me, I look uh, pretty decent on camera when I have some sort of something on my head. I think the bandanas really add on to this whole look. I also personally love jeans. You know how like back in the days, they would make girl group wear really like sexual clothes exposing all their skin. What CLC was wearing back then for our debut was something that wasn't really like sexualized and but it really suit our age and our concept really well. So I really appreciate that. If you put the artist with the right outfits that fits their age and concept, it really help enhances the song because you know, you're dressed according to your age. So you don't have to act like you're something else. So I'll give this outfit a five. Next outfit is my personal favorite. This is an outfit from Hobgoblin. It's one of the strongest looks that I have for Hobgoblin, to be honest. That was a time when Hyuna taught me that you should wear clothes that really helps enhances your body. I really was struggling with losing weight, so I had like, I would say it's not big, but like in the K-pop world, my legs were a bit thicker than other girls. So Hyuna was like, if you don't feel confident about your legs, then what we'll do is we'll put you in an outfit where you can really show your waist and then cover your legs so that you feel confident on stage. And that was when I was wearing a lot of baggy pants with like crop top. So I was really grateful for her and that was a very big life lesson I learned. Um, and I really took that seriously and it really helped my career a lot, especially now. I try to put myself in outfits where like, I don't want to force myself to wear a certain things just because it's trending or just because it looks nice on other people. I always had this perspective where I felt like I always have to like be smaller, dress like what other Korean um, idol dress like. Yeah, but then after learning that, I was just like, it's not, it's not wrong to be yourself and to wear something that suits yourself. Uh, I gave the other outfit a 10, but I feel like this is like beyond that. So I would definitely rate this a 11 because it was a very life-changing look for me too. The next outfit is my outfit from Nirvana Girl. As you guys all know, after Sharp Objects, I style everything by myself and I come up with everything on my own. I really wanted to go all in with this song and I wanted to show my feminine side. This is an outfit where, to be really honest with you, uh, it was really difficult to dance in. First of all, this dress is fucking short. I was the one who ordered this dress, so I would only blame myself. But And I had a lot of uh, moves where I have to like turn around so you can literally see my butt hanging a little bit. But it's okay because in the music video, you can't, you guys can't see it. So what happened was that this dress was a dress where you can literally see your whole thing. And I really wanted to show off this whole thing just because I felt the confidence and I was like, I just kind of want to show off a little bit, you know? So it was my first time wearing something so exposed like that. So literally I was 60 to 70% naked while I was wearing this outfit, but I thought it was really cute. Um, but we found a solution where we just put like a, a safety pin in between the clothes. So we closed it up so my, my boobs don't hang out, you know? I personally don't like the color pink, but I found out that pink actually really complements my skin color and my my face quite well so that's why we're wearing pink this outfit would be a seven for me i think it's really cute and the photos came out great it's just when i was moving around it was a little bit uncomfortable and i can't technically wear this on stage because you know you guys will see everything 
This outfit is also another outfit we wore for Pepe. This one is quite cute. As usual, we kept the concept of having the CLC logo on all the clothes that we were wearing. Also, I have like a little bow on my head. I thought it was really cute. I just don't really like the color. Like, I don't know why the hell they thought that yellow and blue would really match because obviously it doesn't. This color, yellow and blue, like just I have a lot of questions like what's the inspiration and why did you think that yellow and blue would really you know, just so I would say this is a four for me and also I have like this weird ass looking outer that they were tying around my waist I don't know why they did that but like it literally looks like I borrowed someone's blouser and then I just wrapped it around my waist before I went up on stage. Yeah, not a vibe. Very cute though, very cute, but just... I have a lot of questions about this outfit. Okay, so for the next outfit, first of all, let me rate this outfit. This outfit is a one for me. First of all, I just debut. So I had no say in what I was wearing. Second of all, I have no experience of being a stylist or I don't, it was my first time being on stage. So I literally don't know what looks great or not. But like, even if you have no experience being on stage, you probably can know that this is not a vibe. Color, why is it light blue? I'm not sure. Light blue, when you wear it, if you don't wear it well, you'll look really big. And I was already not like, I wasn't a skinny bitch. I had a difficult times trying to lose weight because I love eating so much and I don't know how to exercise properly. So like they made me wear this light blues. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of my members were really cute. Like they were really pulling it off. But for me, yeah, it was not a vibe. This dress is this dress. This, I don't even know what it is. Also like the collar is kind of nice. It's like CLC written on it. But then like, I mean, I thought it's a little bit too much. And also I am not a big fan of socks that really come all the way up like the high socks because it makes my leg look a little bit shorter it wasn't really making me look cute at all it made some of my members look cute but like not me okay also like the bow on the head all of our hairs were tied up by the way like tied up hell high and then we all had bows on it i don't know i don't really talk about this my dark like era back then i thought i was cute i guess because everyone thought we were cute but then like looking at it now literally don't know what we were thinking the last outfit i'll be rating today will be this outfit please don't get me wrong i thought this concept was cute but with the experience of working with this song specifically i wasn't really having it because one, this song came out after a very successful comeback, strong one, I think Black Dress. And instead of pushing the very fierce concept, I don't want to throw shades, but the next song was this, and I was a little bit confused. I love the song though, I love the concept and everything, but it just came out at the wrong time. It felt more of like a winter vibe, but then it came out in the summer. I am not a big fan of clothes that really just close off everything up here like you can't see shit up here like your neck looks like it's suffocating your neck also looks short and you're closing everything off and then with like long sleeves i wasn't really i wasn't a big fan and we kept wearing this for the whole comeback in different colors imagine seven girls on stage wearing this it was cute as a whole but like if I could turn back time and not wear this, like I would wear something else. I would probably wear something like, like corset with some cute skirt and like high heels that opens up your legs. Maybe a choker with like roses that was made out of cloth, like maybe in black. Maybe some like silk satin something. Maybe some gloves, like see-through gloves. I don't know, that's what I would be wearing if I had to kind of reconstruct this not my vibe so i would say this not bad i mean like i'll give it like maybe, maybe like a, a two okay guys so that was the end of my grading let me know what you guys think of the outfits well obviously you guys's perspective and my perspective would be a little bit different some outfit might have deserved a better rating than I gave so let me know what you guys think and also if you guys have not watched the video that Sunyeon was rating her outfits don't forget to uh, go watch the video it's in my channel I'll link it up
somewhere. And yeah, also let me know if you guys want a part two or want me to rate or rank anything else. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Produce Horn. Bye!